was at school, I had called, um, I called once a week on Mondays. It popped up my agency name and they um, said they had a child to match with us. So one day she called me just out of the blue, just really excited and bubbly. And you know, it was just exciting because we had been waiting so long. And I said, okay, send me the pics, and I started crying. So I went over to her school, actually, and we pulled up the file and got to see Kinsley's pictures for the first time. And we pulled her up on the smart board and just cried together. And her file said she was an eight-month-old baby. At first, it was just like a shock, and then second, it was just very exciting. And then the third thought behind it was, you know, okay, tell me the details. only was she not receiving um, hydration and nutrients, she was also pouring food into her lungs. The orphanage director took her to the local hospital and they said, there's nothing we can do for her. Um, it's just a hard concept to, to hear especially about your baby. We actually got a call from Dr. Steve at Maria's. Through that phone call, um, Dr. Steve was able to relate a little bit more information to us about Kinsley and her condition and what to expect. He wanted us to just understand that Kinsley was gonna be full 24 hour care. She was showing a lot of complications during our time in China. And it was very scary. And during that time, she was not expected to live. And we were medically expedited to Hong Kong. At that time, the question was, is she healthy enough to get on a plane? And um, basically the doctor there said, you know, he said, if this was my child, he said, I would never step foot on that plane for 15 hours. She could pass away on that plane very easily. We went to Cincinnati Children's, obviously, when we landed um, straight off the airplane. And that is like the number one aerodigestive unit in the United States. They were just flabbergasted that Maria's was able to keep a kid with her condition alive as long as they were able to keep her alive. You know, th there was a couple of doctors just like, we got to talk to the staff because this is just unreal. A kid doesn't live 11 months under these conditions. One of the doctors actually said to me, I'm not a believer, but I'm going to have to think about it now. Kinsley, from the beginning, has been a miracle. No one expected her to live. We never would have thought, now six months later, that Kinsley would be where we're at. I mean, the fact that she's up and walking, that she's eating, that she's playing and laughing, doing all those things that, to be honest, we weren't really sure at the point when we got Kinsley if she would ever do those things. It definitely makes you appreciate even just the little things in life. She took her first steps about two weeks ago and is all over the house. God is showing off and I am so thankful. And there's no way I can pay back God for this gift and show hope for the gift that they have given me. <laughs> that gift calls me mama. I cannot wait to see what God does with her story. I am so blessed that Show Hope and Maria's Big House of Hope found Kinsley when they did.